Hey, what's good, y'all? You finna get right into it, man. Today, I'm finna talk about this damn trash that I done picked up. You know what I'm saying? Uh, this right here is a, it's called a Black Max chainsaw. Uh, 20 inch bar, 50cc gas chainsaw. And you see, I, I, um, took the bar off and the, you know, and the chain off and everything. This joint is some trash. You know what I'm saying? I actually already um, got something else, Husqvarna, to, you know what I'm saying, cut down trees and do what I need to do. Um, th this ain't worked out for me too well. It, it was going well at first. Um, haven't even had this one full year. Um, how long has it been? Uh, maybe six seven months something like that um it does have a three-year warranty so hopefully i can find a receipt and um you know had this replaced by the manufacturer but straight jump let's get into what happened man um so i've been able to cut down um a, i guess a slightly decent amount of trees um nothing huge you know what i mean uh pretty much medium medium large diameter trees and everything was working fine you know bucked them up in the logs and everything was going good um and then one day while i was using it i heard a snap and um the chain stopped moving and I don't know if y'all can see that. There's a rod that go that you know it goes through there. You can see part of it there, and you see the other part of it right there. So this rod right here that runs from inside the chainsaw out through that turns the chain. That rod snapped and I heard a big pop or crack and um chain stopped moving I turned it off you know what I mean um took it back into the shop to see what was going on with it start dismantling it a little bit and this what I saw you know what I mean um snapped metal broken metal you know what I mean um no real way to fix this I'm not trying to jerry rig and use this for nothing you know what i'm saying it's extremely dangerous so this is pretty much you know junk at this point i'm gonna try to get in contact with the company um you know see if they stand by their warranty but to be honest you got one good chance with me and for something like this to happen i'm not feeling it so i picked this up at a local Wally World, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't. It was a. It was a inexpensive chainsaw. That's the reason I got it. Um, you know, it's pretty inexpensive, but it seemed like it would get the job done for me. I thought it would last, um, you know, a couple years, for me to do what I needed to do. I did expect for me to have to get a higher quality chainsaw at some point, but I didn't expect to have to get another quality you know another chainsaw after only a couple months so i just want to warn y'all about this brand if you're looking into it if you see some of these somewhere and you're thinking about scooping one up my recommendation is a <laughs> avoid that you know what i'm saying but uh i guess i'll i'll go and count the, the trees that i was able to cut down um yeah Actually, yeah, Let, let's go see how many trees this actually got to cut, just actually uh, cut down before it broke. All right, we're going to start the count right here. It's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, 
นะเดสทีนแอนด์อีเลฟเว่นโซ่เลฟเว่นทรีส์ทัลล์คัดดาวน์แอนด์แอสเวลเอสอืมลายก็เสกเออเลฟเว่นทรีส์คัดดาวน์คัดดาวน์อินทลอ็อกส์ um and also there were some trees that were already downed that um still usable and dry so those got caught in the logs too but uh 11 trees cut down and this chainsaw is out of order unable to be, unable to be used the broken goner dunzo that ain't good So the replacement is already purchased. Got me a nice Husqvarna 450 Rancher. You know, um, pretty much somewhat equivalent. You know, 50 cc gas engine. Um, heard much better things about this. You know, did Husqvarna is from what I'm hearing out of tried and true uh, chainsaws. So it's you know pretty much the standard of what you want, either Husqvarna or steel, something like that. Um, To be replacing this. I don't really plan on using this anymore, even if it does get um, replaced by the company, the manufacturer. Um, I am still going to use this bar and chain. Also got a second chain to go to this bar. Um, these are both 20-inch bars, but the um, they take slightly different sized chains, so I can't. Use that chain on this, but what I can do is just take that bar off and use this bar, and um, use the two chains that I got for this, and that should be fine. So I'm gonna still get the use out of bar and those two chains, but um, that's done, at least for me. Um, just want to put the word out there, you know what I'm saying? If you see one of these, go ahead and avoid it from your boy Sneak. This helped you out at all. Go ahead, and leave a like. Um, got any questions? Leave it in the comment box below, and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace out for now, squad.